yeah, I mean, he clearly has shown other, you know, problems in the past. I'm not sure if he's a consistent, constant drinker or user of drugs, but when he does drink, he has issues sometimes, which means that you're an alcoholic. Uh, if you do something one time a year, but every time you do it, you have a major issue, you drink one time a year, but you black out drink and you crash a car or, or fight someone, that shows that you have a problem with alcohol. So whether it's daily use or just every once in a while, he probably needs to get some help. And it's, you know, he's a, a legend. Basically, at this point, he's, you know, one of the best fighters that ever got in there. Uh, but he, you know, just like everyone is fighting a demon and he should look for help. And, uh, you know, I think that he, you know, he could find that help. I'm sure he's got plenty of great people around him. He's not a stupid person. And he obviously has shown discipline and that he can work hard and succeed if, when he wants to. So I think it's something that he could tackle and, and get through. And I, and I wish him the best. Would you be willing to talk to him or help him or have any advice for him as somebody who I know this is a big part of what you do is helping out and helping out others who went down similar paths as you have had? Yeah. I, would, I mean, of course I would help anyone if I could. Uh, I don't chase people. I'm not going to like try to like lecture you or tell you what you need to be doing if you come to me and you want advice or just, you know, if you want to get help or if you just want someone to talk to, I'm always here for that. And, and yeah, you know, fellow UFC fighter, uh, probably some, someone that I can learn things from. So, I mean, of course, yeah, anyone that needs help, I'm always here for them. It, was there a moment like you would think when he sees the images and the video of the aftermath of that, that that could have been a lot worse is that so, there's something that you look back at in your own situation where, all right, I finally have to turn the, turn the page here. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, I saw a video and his car was like on other cars, I think. And that could have been bad for him. Could have hurt himself, but more importantly, could have hurt other people. And, you know, so yeah, I mean, it seems like a bottom you know, like a, a place where you, you look at that and say, all right, like, I need help. You don't just look at that and say, ah, it wasn't a big deal. Like you're facing DUI charges and you could have possibly hurt yourself or others. So definitely a time for change. And, you know, it could be the best thing that ever happened. Could, you know, you, you could take it for, for what it is and just and move on or, or you could like really learn from it and, and uh, you know, better yourself. So. I think he's that kind of guy, though, that will better himself. I think someone like you, and I know you and Patty shared that in, before your, the lead up to your fight, as somebody who's been there and a UFC fighter, it might actually be make sense for him to try to seek help from someone like you who's been down that road before. Yeah, I mean, definitely. We can obviously relate on a lot of levels and, you know, um, especially this, the substance abuse, you know, been there, done that. And it's not like I was just like, Oh, I, I smoked a little pot here and there. Like I was, uh, you know, no good bottom of the barrel addict. So, um, yeah, I would love to somehow help, but like I said, like, I'm not gonna, I don't, ch you know, if someone wants help, they gotta, they gotta look for it. I'm like, I'm not gonna try to like, it's just weird when people do that. They try to like push boundaries. No, let me help you. And it's like, all right, relax. So, you know. You're, you're there if he needs you. I'm there if he needs Exactly. Someone needs me. How's the health? How's the head? Everything's okay? Yeah, I mean, I'm all right. I uh, had a mild concussion. Um, I haven't had a concussion in a long time, so that sucks. But I'm more emotionally and uh, spiritually upset, frustrated, confused, um, pissed off, I'm angry, all sorts of different emotions. But, you know, what am I going to do? It just sucks that it's like back to back, two fights in a row where it's just been like weird. And, you know, it's not like I was losing these fights. Like, I think it's pretty clear that I won the patty fight and um, I was on my way to winning this last one. And then, you know, no contest. So I didn't lose or win, but you know, there's a lot of things that come with 
not getting the W on your record, you know, um, now two fights in a row, lost, then no contest. So on this contract, I'm 1-1, 0-1. One, one, oh when I should or could be 3-0 and oh on this contract, which would mean, you know, renegotiating a new contract, getting a bigger, you know, bump in pay. So there's a lot of things that um, come into play, but I kind of like the only silver lining that I'm seeing right now from the Bobby fight, at least, I mean, definitely from the Patty fight is that my following has grown a lot. I think, uh, I'm, you know, becoming a fan favorite and, you know, I think I've shown improvements in both fights. I, I clearly was, you know, had the upper hand in both fights. So, I mean, um, I think I'm showing I'm getting better. And, you know, if I was losing the Bobby fight and then it ended the way it ended, I would kind of just be like, all right, kind of got lucky there, but I was winning. So it's frustrating and it's annoying, but what am I going to do? Two strange fights to say the least. And I'm sure too, that you want back those. And they're both fights that the fans care about. Is there one you'd prefer first? Obviously Patty's a big name, but you and Bobby are both popular as well. Yeah. I think it makes more sense to fight Bobby again. And I definitely want that rematch, um, especially after the way he treated the fight after like, like it was my fault. And he's like, you know, when I, you know, when he, when he hit the mat, he was fighting back. It's like, yeah, well, what else was I supposed to do? Just lay on the floor and let you hit me. Uh, I didn't know what had happened until after the fight, you know, like I was all, all of a sudden I'm on my back. Um, I didn't know if it was a kick or a punch or a knee or whatever it was, but it turned out to be his head. So, you know, they had instant replay and they looked at it and they saw that it was clearly him diving head first into my temple. So yeah, of course I'm going to fight back just like anyone else would have. So, you know, and he just kind of disrespectful and like, I always had respect for Bobby and um, we've had like other uh, interactions before we were ever supposed to fight. And there were always good interactions, uh, you know, and I, I get it. He's upset. He didn't, you know, get the win and he gets half his, you know, one of his checks and, yeah, me too. What about me? I was winning the fight and I didn't get my other check. So who should be more mad? Um, but yeah, definitely want to fight him again. Patty's out with a, with an injury from our fight, you know, he had ankle surgery, so who knows what they're doing with him anyways. Uh, and when he'll even be back. I had an ankle injury before where I didn't need surgery, but I had like a grade two ankle sprain and it took me like eight months to come to come back from it like fully. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's a tough thing to heal. Uh, so who knows with him, but definitely would like to, to get back with Bobby. Um, I would love to get on that Boston card in August. I think it just makes sense timing wise with, you know, recovery and then getting back into camp and, you know, all the stuff you have to do to prepare for a fight. I think that timeline makes sense for me. Um, and I think it's a fight that the fans want to see, uh, you know, in its entirety.